three, two, and one. And we are back aboard the NASA. Well, good morning to you guys, and welcome back to Mariner of the Seas Cruise Vlog Series, episode number three, guys. And today's is the day. We are finally going to be boarding the Mariner of the Seas. Again, I'm so excited to get back on Mariner. I'm like so excited to leave from Port Canaveral. I have been to Canaveral since uh, Harmony in September, but I'm super pumped up. Excited to head to Port Canaveral. But before we go ahead to Port Canaveral, there's one thing that we have to say, guys. If you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button right down below and click the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video. And uh, so with that said, let's go ahead to Port Canaveral. made it here to Port Canaveral. We're actually at the luggage uh, place. We're gonna drop off our luggage and go get the shuttle. We've had the parking place. I'm gonna go head to the ship. Uh, we're gonna do that in three, two, one. Made into the terminal. We are. I mean, it's currently uh, about 10, 10. I'm gonna be boarding the ship in just a few minutes, maybe an hour. Who knows? But um, again, I hear some footage of the terminal right before we board the ship. I'll pick you guys up right when we board the ship. Okay, I know I said we would uh, pick you up after, before we board the ship, but um, it appears well, about to board the ship, and um, we are third to be called again. We're a diamond member, so we do get that uh, priority embarkation. Really cool, and uh, so uh, let's go board the ship. Alrighty guys, we are about to be boarding the ship. So uh, here we go, we're gonna board it in three, two, pause this for one. Three, two, and one, and we are back aboard the Mariner of the Seas. Well alright everyone, we made it here to the deck number five. And uh, we're gonna go up to the uh, Windjammer because that should be opening up any minute now. So uh, let's go do that. Okay, well, I made it to the front of the ship. Uh, I'm gonna go cut through the solarium now. And um, yeah, this, again, this is the uh, front of the ship. This is the solarium. I'm very quiet. I'm gonna be very quiet here, but uh, right dang Canaveral. Um, if you guys look over there, actually there's a new ship in Canaveral. Um, the, if you look, I'm gonna try to get this a shot and you're still gonna see it right now, but uh, the ULA ship, which is a United Launch Alliance, they have a, a ship here docked in Canaveral today. It's probably refilling one of the uh, many rocket launches we have here in Florida. So yeah, it is um, a very pretty day on board the Mariner of the Seas. Now we're gonna be heading to the wind jammer like I just told you before. It's gonna be pretty cool now. Um, if you are new here again, I just made it on board, so if you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button right down below and smash the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another video in this amazing Mariner of the Seas Cruise Vlog series. Well, alright guys, we are waiting here for the wind to open up in five minutes until it opens up at, and um, it's again pretty apparent for it being not even open yet, so uh, yeah.
Well, alright everyone, we are here at the Windjammer and for lunch today was the taco selection which is very cool because usually they have a taco night for dinner but um, luckily I was able to grab some tacos here um, you know on my last cruise vlog series, the Navigator of the Seas, we went to El Loco Fresh on board the Navigator, a great taco restaurant but uh, so glad to see that they have uh, some tacos in the Windjammer right here on the Mariner of the Seas. Well alright guys, we are here at the dessert spread and I got some pretty good choices tonight. We got some uh, cookies, some jello, some Oreo cheesecake. Um, we also got some uh, gluten-free upside down pineapple cake, uh, some Oreo cheesecake, I'm gonna get that, some almond pie, and some cookies, that's a pretty good choice for today. Okay, so I know I was not going to do a review on this, but uh, I haven't tried, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm gonna try this Oreo uh, cheesecake. Oh, overall, it looks pretty um good, you know, look, I like, nice the little texture, not a food review -y, but uh, here it is, cheers. Mm. That is surprisingly really good. It has like um like a oh, it's hard to explain, but it is amazing, guys. Um, again, I had this last cruise on Navigator, and it was a little drier, but this one's super moist. Mm, it is amazing cake here at the Windjammer. Well, folks, that was an amazing lunch at the Windjammer. Again, it is a perfect. Again, dude, I was aboard the ship at 10:30. There was no line to get in. There was actually a line to get in, but I'm saying there was no line to like get in. Like usually there's a line and wash your hands, but no line for that, guys. It was pretty good. Got a nice window seat, which was amazing, guys. Again, usually those are really hard to get on embarkation day, so I'm glad I got that. Anyway, now we're gonna be heading up to the uh, top of the deck to go do the flow rider. Cause you know I love my flow rider, so I'm gonna get through that, get the boogie board test done, so I don't have to uh, do it when we do the uh, stand up. So um, without further ado, let's head up there. Well, all right, well, we are here at the hammocks waiting for the floor rider signups to happen. It should happen soon. I think it opens at 12.15. Don't really know the hours because they don't have the sign up over here at the uh, floor desk. Anyway, but anyway, well, it's a great time to join the hammocks. If you guys see my last Navigator of the Seas vlog, uh, well, the hammocks on this ship are actually more better than the ones on Navigator. Because Navigator ones, they're hard to get into. If you saw my last uh, Navigator of the Seas video, you know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, great hammocks here on board the ship. Well, all right, everyone, that was a great time on the floor rider here on board the Mariner of the Seas again. Um, it was a great wave. Um, the new style of actually World Caribbean waves has way progressed since the first one. If you guys go on Freedom, you'll see they're way different than the new uh, Voyager class ship's wave. Again, Mariner was the last ship to receive a flow rider in part of the Royal Amplification Program. Um, but uh, anyway, now we're going to head down to my cabin. We're taking you guys a tour of my brand new, uh, new interior cabin down on deck number seven. So uh, let's go head down there. Okay, well, don't push that. I guess we're going the wrong way, guys. Um, well, what's the cruise life, y'all? I guess we have to go this way now. Okay, right, here we are. So, uh, there we go, cabin 731. So, uh, let's get inside. Okay. Okay, so this is the first look of the cabin tour. You know guys, I say I do cabin tours. I always say I'm gonna do a cabin tour, but well, this isn't the case for uh, this room. So it, actually the cabin tour is gonna be right now. So um, without further ado, let's do a quick cabin tour. Okay, so we're gonna start off here. You got a couch, so if you like to relax and do your stuff, couch there. We got um, our bed right here. So um, it's pretty big, holds me. So I'm very happy, again, nice bed, very nice, very nice. We also got two bunk beds. If you need bunk beds, you got some of two of them, one, two. Um, it comes with the TV, Samsung. This was a new TV, redone it in dry dock. So uh, yeah, I got some nice storage right here. Pretty cool. Got your standard uh, Royal Caribbean safe. And um, well, yeah, you got your uh, uh, thermostat, not that. Our uh, crown and anchor cookies. So uh, 
perks of being diamond is you get do get free crown anchor cookies and you do get a free diamond drink special and a menu which i will show you right here again here's the diamond uh, drink menu so this basically shows you all the drinks that you have at the diamond club or you can just get them around the ship again this is a menu right here if you do want to see a full menu go to the royal caribbean crown and anchor society uh, web page i think they have it there but well without further ado the uh, most important part of the room the bathroom pretty nice little bathroom in here you got your two cups so you can nice two drink cups um you got got a lot of storage in here like i said before you got your room for your towels a lot of towels you got your toilet standard toilet and uh, you got your water pretty cool and then you got the tube right here the shower so um yeah this shower is actually pretty big i like the tub pods you know you usually have stainless you can use speak but this cruise we're roughing it a nice little uh, shower i like, like the uh like space pods like i'm going in you won't see me again uh, yeah. Oh well, so this room is actually very big. I do like this. It's so spacious. Very nice room. Um, so uh, I'll let you guys know. Um, well, exactly what we're we doing next. So uh, actually, up next, guys, we got. So we got muster in uh, like half an hour. So uh, yeah, uh, again, muster. This is a Voyager class style muster. Which, if I told you in the last Navigator of this season's video, these are usually an awfully long, um, again, not always these class ship musters are super long, but, uh, you guys are gonna go make, come experience a muster, and, um, after that we have a amazing sail away from Port Canaveral. There are three other ships here in Port today, so, uh, again, very excited to go see our sail away. We're gonna have to do a 360, which would be pretty cool. Um, again, if you remember our last Navigator of the season's video, we did do a 360 when we left, uh, Port Miami. Alright guys, uh, again, it is, uh... Time to go ahead to muster. So yeah, we're heading to muster, guys. Muster drill time. Well, all right, everyone. That wraps this up Next for muster. Time. Well, that's right, guys. We made it back to the helipad. Okay, here we go. Yay! So our um, entrees just arrived here. It is super windy out. 